What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of BH Brewing. In today's tasting sessions we're going to be trying this one. This is from Collective Arts and it is called the Saint of Circumstance and it is a citrus blonde ale. Never had it before but let's give it a go. Here we have it then and the uh, first thing to say about it is it's kind of uh, an odd looking beer. Um, I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera, but in terms of its you know, kind of appearance in the glass, it's, uh, it's kind of got these bits floating in it, and I'm not sure if that's kind of hot spits of it, you know, kind of hot residue left over, or if it's gelatine. It kind of it moves a bit like gelatine, like they use it as a fining agent, and it's just kind of stuck in there. Um, well, it could be bits of hops. I'm not overly sure. I don't see anything quite like it. It's uh, it's very peculiar. Uh, in terms of its head, uh, well, I kind of poured it out quite vigorously and it dissipated quite quickly, so there's not a whole lot of head on it. Uh, but yeah, certainly a, a strange looking beer, one I've not really come across before. Anyway, let's uh, get the old snout in there and see what we can smell. To be honest, it doesn't really smell of a whole lot. Um, it does, I guess you could say, it smells like a, of a citrus kind of pale ale. Um, it, do you know, it reminds me a of the kind of smell you get from a, from a shandy. Uh, more of like a 50-50 shandy rather than a, a lemonade heavy shandy. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's mostly a little bit of kind of citrus in there and maybe something a little sweeter in the back notes. But the main kind of aroma you get is almost like a shandy type type aroma from it. So um, not a whole lot there, but it is just a citrus pale ale, so you know, give it its due. Right, let's go in with the taste and see how that is. Ooh. Wow, okay. Mmm. That's really, really nice. It's a, it's an odd one because it's it's kind of got those citrusy flavours, but without being very kind of bitter. Usually, if you have a kind of citrus pale ale, you end up with quite a bit of bitterness on the end. It's quite chlorine. This is actually, this is not like that at all. It's it's got that lovely kind of like lemon kind of flavours to it, but it doesn't have that horrible, really sticky kind of. Uh, aftertaste that stays with you. It kind of you get a little bit of bitterness, and then it goes. And all you can really left with is that kind of taste of the kind of a melony flavour. I'd say. Mm. That's really really nice. It's that's a proper easy drinking uh, go to beer. Um, very sessionable. I would say that I could probably. You know, have five or six of these and be quite happy. I mean, I would be very happy after five or six, but <laughs> you get the idea. I could, I could drink this all day long. It's a, it's a quite a nice, quite a nice drop. This. And in terms of dryness, it's definitely not dry. It's uh, definitely on the medium side. Uh, My feel again, probably medium to kind of thin side. It's like a very, very nice, more flavourful kind of lemony lager, really, and it is. It's bloody beautiful. I could drink this all day long. It is really, really nice. I don't think there's much more to say about it than that, really, guys. Um, it's a lemony kind of pale ale. It does what it says on the tin, but it is very Moorish. It's a big, definitely session. And uh, if I was to put this on the old kind of um, untapped, I'd probably give this a, a, a four out of five. It is a very, very nice beer on the old kind of rate beer scale. Uh, yeah, I'll probably put this up there at the kind of 85, 86 around that area. It's um, a lovely drop. Cheers, guys.